Devin Johnson is the prototype tall, fast, wide receiver that most college programs are thirsting for. Some Husky coaches felt he was the best skill position player in the state of Washington this year. Devin is also an outstanding linebacker or defensive back prospect. O'Day is a run-oriented team, so Johnson only caught 15 passes during his senior year. His biggest contributions came on defense for the state AAA champion, Fighting Irish. But he is a great receiver in the mold of Sean Dawkins and Herman Moore. Johnson won all state honors and was named to Blue Chip Illustrated's All-America team. He considered Hawaii, UNLV, and Stanford before committing to the Huskies. this 98-yard kickoff return against Blanchette, Johnson runs past a diving John Minter, who also signed a letter of intent with Washington. Manny Austin is expected to be a quick contributor to the Husky offense. One scout told Sports Washington he could play as a true freshman for the Huskies. Like Devin Johnson, he's a big target with great hands and is very physical. He'll get the catch even if he's covered. Manny will go over the middle with no problem, and he's not an easy man to tackle. He was a good free safety in high school, so he's not afraid of contact. Austin also returned kicks and rushed for 1,000 yards from the slot back position. Don't be surprised if he cuts his speed down to the 4.55 range while at Washington. It came down to Colorado, Cal, and Washington for Austin.
these highlights, Elliott Silvers lines up at left tackle on the first offensive play. Then he plays left tackle on defense. And on the next offensive series, watch for him at both tackle spots. Elliott Silvers has a massive build that college and pro football scouts want on the offensive line. Many football powers won't recruit an offensive lineman unless he's at least six foot four. And more and more, the Huskies are starting to adopt that policy. Silvers is a natural tackle prospect. He'll have to work on his 5-4-40 time, but he's strong and showed enough agility to draw recruiting interest from UNLV, Oregon State, and UCLA. As far as honors go, Blue Chip Illustrated named him to their All-America team. Few players in the Husky recruiting class pass the eyeball test like Dominic Dasty. You can look for him at right guard in these highlights and take special notice at how nimble he is when he pulls around the end. Dasty got offers from several Pac-10 schools because he can run. His 5-1-40 time guaranteed him dozens of Division I recruiting offers. A lot of schools found Dasty when they were recruiting his teammate, UCLA signee Damian Allen. Blue Chip Illustrated liked what they saw and named him the eighth best offensive lineman in the West. Dasty's versatility will come in handy for the Huskies as he can be used at either guard or tackle. Matt Fraze is almost a can't-miss prospect at center for the Huskies this year. In these highlights, Matt lines up at left guard in the first series, switches to right tackle, and then can be seen back at left guard. Fraze drew intense recruiting attention because of his 4940 speed, solid 6'4", 285-pound frame, and impressive 340-pound bench press. Fraze had 50 pancake blocks this season, including 15 in one game. Blue Chip Illustrator rated him as the seventh best offensive lineman in the West. He narrowed his choices to Cal, Washington, and Nebraska before selecting the Huskies. Nebraska rated him as their top center prospect. Matt is an excellent student who will major in business at Washington.
Injuries limited Zach McCall's senior productivity, but most schools were smart enough to rank him among the nation's best. The reason is that when healthy, McCall runs and jumps like a linebacker. His numbers are staggering. He runs a 4940. He did 25 reps of 185 pounds at the Reebok Combine. He has just 10% body fat despite being almost 320 pounds. He has posted a 30 inch vertical leap and he has a state AAA winning throw of 59 feet in the shot put. Had he been a little more healthy, a little more technically sound, and had he passed his SAT earlier, McCall would have gotten as many offers as Travis Claridge and Chad Ward. Because of the SAT, he got offers only from Washington State, Idaho State, Utah, UNLV, and Washington. Zach has a bit of a mean streak in him as well when he's on the field, and he doesn't like to lose. Chad Ward is another in a growing list of blue chip offensive line prospects who hail from the state of Washington. Watch closely for number 71 in these highlights. Ward played nose tackle on defense and primarily left tackle on offense. Ward benches 375 pounds and runs a respectful 5-2 40 yard dash. The amazing thing about Ward is that he played against inferior single-A competition, but still was one of the most highly sought and highly honored offensive linemen in the country. He joins Tony Coates and Napoleon Kaufman as the only USA Today First Team All-America selections ever to sign with Washington. He can play both tackle and guard at the next level, and likely will contribute at the latest as a redshirt freshman. He visited Notre Dame and Nebraska, but it was never close. He liked the Huskies from day one, and the Huskies liked his potential ever since they first recruited him as a sophomore in high school. Student Sports Magazine All-State Selection and Blue Chip Illustrated All-American, Kevin Cooper hopes to continue the Huskies' long line of stellar tight ends. Cooper is a good blocker, and if he adds weight, could be moved to an interior offensive line position in college. If he stays around 260 pounds, Cooper will give the Huskies a big target tight end with good hands and good agility. He routinely victimized double and triple teams for a small Brethren Christian High School, where current Husky Reggie Davis attended. The University of Washington was his only trip after drawing attention from Colorado and San Diego State.
Neva Tapu is seen in these highlights running the ball on offense, while Ben Lindsay, wearing number 69, lines up at left defensive end. Neva Tapu was headed to Oregon State when the Huskies had another linebacker prospect drop, clearing room for Tapua at Washington. Tapua earned Northwest Nugget honors from the Tacoma News Tribune. He runs a 4.6740 and made 112 stops this season. He is an outstanding athlete, attending the state meet as a junior in the shot put, discus, and javelin. Tapua says he's trying to get his best friend and teammate Ben Lindsay to turn out for football, but right now Big Ben is headed to Washington for track only. Lindsay is one of the nation's top young shot putters, and while he isn't ruling out football in the future, the chances of him wearing a Husky football uniform are thin. If he does play for Jim Lambright, Lindsay could contribute at the defensive line or at tight end. A relentless pass rusher and impressive run stopper, T.J. Jackson could be one of the most exciting members of the 1996 recruiting class. Many compare his quick first step to former All-Pac-10 Husky DeMarco Farr. Jackson, of course, hails from Napoleon Coffin's hometown, and while he didn't know the running back personally, Coffin's legacy was a big factor that led Jackson to Washington and away from California schools. His list of honors was impressive. Student Sports All-State, LA Times All-South Bay, Blue Chip Illustrated All-American, Northern League Defensive Lineman of the Year. Jackson, who benches 330 pounds and runs a 4840, made 128 stops as the defensive tackle, 70 solo and 10 and a half sacks. His motor is always running. John Minter received attention mostly from Big Sky schools, but the highlights from Minter's junior and senior years indicate why the Huskies called Minter one of the state's most underrated players. As a junior wearing the light-colored helmets, Minter shows good arm strength but poor mechanics at quarterback and only average distance on his kickoffs. But his motion improved significantly as a senior, and he adds almost 20 yards to his kickoffs. Minter didn't get much individual coaching as a quarterback or a kicker, and has the frame to develop into a classic drop back quarterback and the leg strength to give the Huskies good depth in the kicking game.
Chris Waddell might be the most intense player in the Washington recruiting class. He compares his fiery style of play with Mike Singletary, Junior Seah, and Dick Butkus. Lightning fast with a 4-6-40, Waddell is further along at this point in his career than another famous Westchester product, Ken Norton Jr., according to their coach, Larry Wine. Waddell would have gotten offers from every Pac-10 school, but didn't want to play in the state of California. He played inside linebacker at Westchester, earning all area honors from the LA Times. His blazing speed will most likely be used at weak side linebacker for the Huskies. Waddell visited Washington, Hawaii, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Texas A&M, and picked the Huskies in part because of the excellent medical school. A very physical and fast cornerback, Alex Hollowell was one of the most highly recruited Huskies to sign. He chose Washington over UCLA, Virginia, and Pitt after turning down most of the Pac-10 schools early. Recruiters love his solid hitting and birding speed. Hollowell has run a 4-4-5-40 and a 10-500 meters. But his biggest asset is his six-foot-one frame, which will allow him to match up favorably with the growing number of tall wide receivers in college football. Hollowell was an all-state sprinter while at Westview High in Avondale, Arizona, then earned second team All-America football honors at nearby Glendale Community College. He picked off three passes and recorded 45 tackles and 11 starts last season. An excellent student who wants to study biomechanics, Hollowell enrolled in Washington during the spring. Curtis Williams is the most highly recruited tailback to come to Washington since Napoleon Coffin. He narrowed his hundreds of offers to the University of Washington, Arizona State, USC, and UCLA. His blinding speed could prompt a move to cornerback at Washington, where he could play as a true freshman. The smooth running Williams has great vision and footwork to go along with his speed. Williams was named the 16th best running back in the nation by Blue Chip Illustrated. His coach says Williams is just as fast as another Fresno prospect, Henry Ellert, who ran a 4-3. Williams was unstoppable at Fuller. He scored on 11 runs longer than 50 yards, and his 72 career touchdowns is the second highest in section history. He put up staggering totals during his senior year, 2,100 all-purpose yards and 31 touchdowns. play he runs past number nine Ty Edison and then outruns the district sprint champion to the end zone. <laughs> Marie Shaw is a superior athlete who could play one of several positions at Washington. I'm not sure what more he could have done for us said his high school football coach. Everyone keyed on him and he still performed. As a tailback for the Division II Eagles, Shaw was a dangerous performer. He set a school record with 1,752 rushing yards his senior year and scored 12 touchdowns. Seven of his scoring runs were 40 yards or more. He had three games of 250 or more rushing yards. Shaw benches 300 pounds, runs a 4-5 in the 40, and has run a 10-6 100 meters. Blue Chip Illustrated tabbed him as the 12th best running back in the West, 
and he swept nearly every honor there was in Sacramento. A few scouts liked Shaw better than the more highly recruited Darrell Price, who signed with UCLA. Shaw got plenty of attention, however, turning down Washington State, Nevada, UCLA, Cal, and ASU in favor of the Huskies. Because of the depth at running back, the Huskies would love to move him to defense, but Shaw is fairly adamant about carrying the ball in college. Shaw is one of several Huskies who could play for Washington as a true freshman. A two-way star at Capitol High School, Kai Bynum has all the tools to succeed at the college level as a free safety. He's fast, strong, agile, and knows how to play the game. He runs an impressive 4-5-40 and benches 385 pounds. Coaches won't have to worry about his work ethic either. He was the first on and last off the practice field. He graduated from Capitol with honors early and enrolled at Washington in time for spring football. As a wing T tailback, he rushed for 800 yards, averaged over seven yards per carry, and scored 13 touchdowns as a senior. His hits rival that of another Husky safety, Laurie Malloy. Bynum turned down Stanford, Navy, and Washington State in favor of Washington. Kai made the Tacoma News Tribune's Northwest Nugget squad and earned Blue Chip Illustrated's honorable mention. Anthony Hicks was the heart and soul of one of the state's winningest high school football teams. Given his natural leadership abilities, it's likely that he could become the same for the Huskies. As a rugged tailback and inside linebacker for Tumwater, Hicks earned consensus All-State honors. Blue Chip Illustrated named him as the 12th best back in the West. Opposing defenses couldn't bring down the bruising Hicks, who benches 400 pounds and squats 550 pounds. He kept a brilliant three-year career as a starter with 1,200 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. His career rushing total nearly topped 3,000 yards. He will most likely be used as a fullback in college, and given his work ethic, he's almost a can't-miss prospect. Hicks says he never seriously considered any school but Washington, even though Stanford, Oregon, and Washington State all offered scholarships.
Junior Brignac is easily the most versatile athlete in this class. At 6'3 and 177 pounds, and capable of a 4.5140 yard dash, Brignac earned all league honors in three sports, including League Player of the Year in basketball and all city free safety honors in football. Blue Chip Illustrated ranked him as the number eight athlete in the West, and he earned two votes in the Best in the West poll. He comes to Washington as a tall receiver, but also played free safety, cornerback, linebacker, and running back in high school. His coaches put him at quarterback to give him more touches as a senior, and he responded with a big year. As a forward in basketball, he averaged 17.5 points and led the team in steals. A pro prospect at shortstop, Brignac will play baseball at Washington. Rated by many to be the top junior college running back in the nation, Corey Dillon returns to Seattle where he starred at Franklin High School. Dillon is a physically imposing power runner with excellent moves in traffic. While not a blazer with a 4640, he is very difficult to bring down because of his powerful legs. Dillon broke O.J. Simpson's junior college career total yardage record after rushing for 1,900 yards and 20 touchdowns. He led Dixie to a 10-1 record. While at Garden City, Kansas Junior College, Dillon also played free safety. And while most believe he could step in and start for Washington there, Dillon insists on running the ball for the Huskies. Recruited nationally, Dillon visited Washington State, Texas Christian, Brigham Young, Tennessee, and Washington before signing with the Huskies. Despite a massive build and a very productive senior season, Jabari Issa failed to earn any honors beyond all league and all Bay Area. But he didn't slip the notice of Pac-10 recruiters who clamored for the services of this mobile 6'6", 300 pounder. You can see number 79 line up at right tackle on offense and at left end on defense on these highlights. Issa could play on the offensive or defensive line in college, but will play defensive tackle for the Huskies. He had 108 tackles and 10 sacks last season, an amazing total for a defensive end who was constantly double teamed. Issa knows how to get to the ball quickly and has good upper body strength. Issa was recruited strongly by Cal, but gave the Huskies the nod in the end.
Jeremiah Farms could be the most exciting and versatile defensive player to sign with Washington since Tommy Smith. He is projected to play rover, but could play free safety or inside linebacker in college. He even played cornerback at the Reebok Combine. Jeremiah runs a 4-5-40 and benches 320 pounds. In high school, Farms was a dominant fullback, tight end, and inside linebacker. He was a consensus All-America and two-time League Player of the Year selection. A vicious hitter, Farms caused eight fumbles as a senior. He ended the year with 138 total tackles, five sacks, and two interceptions. Farms is a great basketball player who nearly gave up football to pursue a basketball scholarship. Every Pac-10 school but Stanford offered Farms, who signed with Washington because he felt comfortable with the Husky coaches. Valley coach Dave Hoskins predicted that Farms could start for the Huskies as a true freshman, and then in three years, he'd be in the NFL.
Trey Butler is yet another intriguing prospect from Cascade High School. He was an outstanding running back and cornerback for the Bruins. Butler's 40 time is a relatively slow 4.59, but he has good quickness and great instincts to become a solid cornerback. Butler went to the state meet as a junior in the triple jump, long jump, and the 4x100 sprint relay. He turned down Oregon and Washington State to play for the Huskies. Nigel Burton became a starter as a true freshman for the now defunct Pacific. Javon Daniels became the final member of the Husky recruiting class when he signed a letter of intent in late March. Because of a late SAT score, Daniels was not highly recruited. He sent this highlight tape to Washington, and the Husky coaches loved what they saw from this lanky 4-4 speedster. A top punt returner, safety, and wingback in high school, Daniels will be used at cornerback in college. He swiped seven passes this season and returned two punts for touchdowns. Daniels helped lead Cajon High School to an 11-1 record and also starred on the basketball and track squads. 